Hi everyone, it's Mike Hall here. Um, hope you're all keeping well and staying safe. Um, just realised that um, you're going to see me uh, getting more and more unruly with the hair as uh, I can't get a haircut uh, during this time. Uh, my wife likes to call me the madman from Borneo when my hair gets long, but I'm not quite sure what that means. Anyway, get on to today's uh, subject. I'm going to show you all how you value 99.9% .9 of stamp collections in under a minute. Um, it will take a bit longer than that, I must say, because I'll be explaining to you as I go how I go about uh, valuing 99.9% .9 of stamp collections. So without further ado, let me introduce the stamp collection in question, which uh, I'm going to value for you today. And here it is. Now, you can see from the front, it's uh, an old Stanley Gibbon Centurion stamp album, which came from uh, the late 1930s. So we suggest there's some old stamps in here. Could have some value, but let's have a look. So open it up. Oh, so at the front of the album, uh, the collector has dated it 17 Jan 1962. Total stamps in the album 1173. So th what this looks like is a typical boyhood stamp collection from the 1960s, which is not in keeping with the age of the album, which suggests to me that this person's father collected and handed this collection down to his son. Um, so what I would expect to find is that all the stamps in here that the collector in question has uh, added from the 60s and 70s will have a uh, very little value uh, and, and the reason for that is that uh, millions were printed at that time and, and, and very few have value. So it's really going to be all about the older stamps that his father put into the album. But then the most important thing now is to have a look at the condition uh, of the stamp. So I do that just by having a very, very quick flick through pages and you can very quickly see what the condition is like. Okay. Right, so I can tell straight from that that the condition is poor. Uh, they're like typical boyhood stamp collections. They're all stuck to the pages. Um, it looks like the majority is modern from the 60s and 70s, but there are some old stamps that clearly the collector's father put in. Uh, the mint stamp stuck in will be worth a fraction of the catalogue value, unfortunately, and it will really be all about whether there's any uh, rarities in here, um, which I would at this stage suspect to be unlikely. I'll give you a, uh, an example of a page to give you an idea what the condition looks like. Here's uh, Belgium. Uh, as you can see, in not good condition and mainly modern. So let's look at Great Britain um, and see if we can find anything of value there. Right. right. So as I suspected, um, it's... Um, not of value. There, there are some old stamps in here, but the condition is terrible and they're not particularly rare old stamps. Here's an example page for you. Um, interesting, but of very little value. So unfortunately, mainly because of condition, um, stamps falling out of it, which gives you an idea what the condition is like. Uh, I would value this collection at around about £500, which might even be a generous uh, what I would actually say is really it was a stamp album <clears throat> with um, old maps in it and it's an actual very nice collection We're given a good sort of range of stamps you know, and I would suggest that keep it in the family as a family heirloom I think it has more uh, personal value than uh, monetary value uh, and it will rise in value over time despite its condition I think just from doing this, this gives you an idea what what life's like for us, because we only trade in that 0.1%, so we have to kiss a lot of frogs to uh, to meet our prints. And uh, all we sell is uh, top quality rare stamps, and it's a very challenging thing to do. Uh, so, I mean, if you think you are in this 0.1% and, and you have a collection that you think is of value and you're interested in evaluation with a view to selling, no, please get in touch with me at mike at justcollecting.com. Uh, rest assured, um, collections with value take considerably more time than it does for uh, the vast majority of collections, which are, in fact, boyhood collections of little value. So I think that's all for today. Um, good to speak to you. Um, 
I hope that you found this informative and I, I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thank you very much. Goodbye.